Adventure Day. We're going to Precision Metals, Inc. and we're going to learn how they fabricate from sheet metal um, gaming machines. And then we're going to go to lunch and talk about it. It's going to be a fun morning and a fun afternoon. Drop shop. We built, that's why I like the business because every day is different. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. And we made all sorts of parts of different quantities and shapes and sizes. And, uh, we made parts for um, that go on roofs that accept lightning bolts and divert the energy so it doesn't blow up. Uh, Rumsfeld was in Iraq and he asked the troops, what did you need? And he said, we need, we need to get some armor plating for our people because they're getting killed in these vehicles because they're not, they're not set up. They're, they have camera stores. And this was in December, and we were committed to making the parts and having them go to Iraq by June, July. Well, the next day we got a call from the base. They said, you got to move up your time schedule to February 1st. Holy crap, that's a lot of work. So we went to the crew, and we said, this is what they want. This is what they need to have done. But the only way we can accomplish this is we got to go 24-7. And the whole shop volunteered. And we did. It. Wow! And it was quite a it was quite a feat. And it was a hell of a lot of hard work these guys put in to get that done. In fact, they well, we're not we're not doing military anymore. Okay. That's that's gone yeah, away. Uh, we're back heavy with gaming, but we're trying to diversify our business because that takes the peaks and valleys out. And gaming used to be just a gold mine because it was building casinos and this and that and the other thing, but that's all slowed down and a lot of stuff's gone overseas. So we're diversifying, we're all making parts now for, hopefully you won't see one, the partitions in the police cars that separate the good guy and the bad guy, we're, make, we're making those. Oh, I see. Okay. And stuff like that. We have that, we're trying to expand our business to include tubing, to bend tubing, to get into other markets, and just trying to stay ahead of the competition. Well, we have a lot of competitors. But I mean, the competition's good. It keeps you sharp and keeps you. But yeah, we have, and it's good competition. And and we have, you know, we have relationships with our competitors in town. If we get in a bind for a part or a piece of hardware or something like that, we help each other out. You know, we don't have top secret stuff. And yeah. There's enough work for everybody. Yeah. Oh, so we're looking for some experienced people in certain areas, but we're really high on bringing in a, a young man or something that wants to. To start in the business and be and be taught and learn and move up in the system, and that's what we're finding is working very well. Because. Uh -huh. It's just a standoff. It's a standoff material. What it is, you just take it, take it, base it. You gotta watch your fingers. Put that in. Just seeing the saws right there. Yeah. See how it's a male, male, female, this, this uh, male stud, and that's your female. We just, you can screw that in, and that hides it. And this gets painted. Yeah, you can screw right in, yeah. That's the complete part on there. So you start with three holes, and you end up with nine. You just take your metal. Yeah. They bring them together and they fuse, fuse these two together. Gotcha. So it's a quicker welding process. Yeah. It's a cleaner welding process. Yeah. So here we can use um, cosmetic welds where you'll see this this part here and on this side you won't even see a weld. Okay. And it, we, we, it, we make it visible so it's called a cosmetic. We use a cosmetic test. Right now he's stacking them together. And this, after it's all said and done, will be a door for um, one of the, the, um, the the slot machines in the casinos. So it's a door that goes inside. This will box the money and everything inside the machine. So we just gotta make sure we 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 we're supposed to hold a certain tolerance so the so the door will shut. It starts. You have raw material over here. We bring in sheets. What we do at that point in time is we cut them to the different size sheets for the machines. Because we make programs to make the parts, and sometimes the blank sizes are different based upon the size of the blank and the yield of material, you're trying to you know, keep as much material just on the part. 
we have two punches. They're identical. So we can inter-swap tooling for both machines. Um, uh, these, no, they're, we own everything here. Um, I don't know, when we bought them, they were 350000 apiece. Oh, okay. And the laser was a half a million. But today's cost, they're going to be more, because we've had them for seven years. Wow. Oh, that's a long time. Yeah, and we just maintain them, and uh, yeah, we run, the, we run the heck out of them. Okay, yeah. We're, we're running two shifts right now, and we're adding the third. We're going to a week. Precision Metals, Inc. is a woman-owned small business that has many capabilities and is experienced in many diverse industries. Founded in May of 1999 in Sparks, Nevada, Precision Metals, Inc. established itself as a leader in manufacturing. They focused from the very start on hard work, dedication, and teamwork to establish an excellent reputation for customer service, quality, and quick turnaround. The family business has grown and added different capabilities in order to satisfy customer demands. Behind you is our laser. It's an old workhorse, but I'll tell you what, it's awesome. We had that back, we bought that right after 9-11. It's paid for. It's not running right this minute, but it's been a workhorse. The only thing is the new ones are a lot faster because you can program any shape you want. See how smooth that is? And so if you did that in the punch, you'd have steps where they hit. I want to make some easier yard. Nice, huh? Yeah.